liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket for the United States Space Force. The RD-180 main engine and one solid rocket booster ignite to lift the Atlas V rocket away from the pad. Together, the main engine and single SRB generate a combined liftoff thrust of 1.2 million pounds, or 5.3 meganewtons. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins a pitchover to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 58 seconds. Two minutes into flight, the GEM-63 solid rocket booster is jettisoned. Approaching payload fairing jettison, the Atlas V is burning propellant at a rate of 1,580 pounds, or 716 kilograms per second, traveling more than 7,145 miles, or 11,500 kilometers per hour, and located 64 miles, or 119 kilometers in altitude, and 102 miles, or 164 kilometers downrange. During ascent, the spacecraft are protected inside a five-meter diameter payload fairing. This two-piece shell encapsulates both the Centaur upper stage and the two spacecraft. At approximately 3 minutes 30 seconds, the rocket is climbed above the densest part of Earth's atmosphere and the payload fairing is jettisoned. At 4 minutes 21 seconds, propellant levels are depleted and the main engine shuts down. Six seconds later, the Atlas Centaur separation system activates to release the booster stage. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 5% of what it did at liftoff. At 4 minutes 37 seconds, the first Centaur main engine burn begins. Over the span of more than six and a half hours, Centaur's RL-10 main engine will perform three engine burns. The first two burns are used to circularize Centaur's parking orbit and then move into geosynchronous transfer orbit. Approximately six hours, 31 minutes after liftoff, the RL-10 engine ignites for a final burn. This burn enables Centaur to make a plane change towards its geosynchronous separation orbit. Nearly two minutes later, Centaur completes its final engine cutoff following a guidance-commanded shutdown, a capability which ensures precise orbit injection. Because orbital dynamics are highly sensitive near GEO, the attitudes for spacecraft separation were optimized to ensure accurate placement into the insertion orbit. Six hours, 35 minutes, 48 seconds after liftoff, Centaur releases the first satellite, followed by the second satellite approximately 10 minutes later. The Space Force's identical geosynchronous space situational awareness program satellites then continue their journey to geosynchronous orbit. Approximately 22,300 miles, or 36,000 kilometers above the equator.